sending data. Hey dear students, I am here to talk about a very relevant topic. The time of uh, NSE exams uh, is here. Uh, they are going to happen in the last week of the month of November. And uh, many of the students are reaching out to me with the query that how relevant are NSEP examination? Should they target it? And what role does it play uh, in the preparation of uh, JE Advance? Or rather, is it does it play any role or does it hampers the preparation of JE Advance? So in today's session, I'm going to address this topic that if you are preparing for an exam like NSEP, which is National Standard Examination in Physics, all right, or a similar exam in chemistry, which is National Standard Examination in Chemistry, then does that actually uh, help you to prepare better for IIT JE Advanced Examination or does that hamper your preparation? Now, students and parents, if you're watching, uh, to address this question, we, we must first understand the structure of this examination and what it leads to. If people want to write it, why they should and if they should avoid this exam, what, sh what should be the reason? So to understand these questions, we need to understand the structure of the exam. All right. So let me first uh, tell you about the structure. So what are these NSEs? So I quickly let me summarize. Okay. So the NSE, NSE stands for National Standard Examination, all right, and these happen in uh, uh, physics, in chemistry, in astronomy, all right, um, in biology and junior science. So this junior science is for students who are currently in grade 8 or grade 9. The rest four, they are for students who are in grade 10, 11 or 12. I am putting a criteria according to the date, but uh, the actual criteria is age based. But generally when the criteria, we check the criteria, we find that most of the students who are studying in grade 8 or 9, they are eligible for JS. And uh, when the student enters into grade 10, then they become eligible for physics, chemistry, astronomy or biology uh, NSEP, uh, NSEs. That is the general thing. There may be a, a few exceptions here and that based on the date of birth of the student. Okay. Now, what is this exam or what does this exam leads to? So let me first tell you that this is stage one. This is stage one of the Olympiad exam. Like you must have heard about physics Olympiad, chemistry Olympiad, biology Olympiad. All right. So uh, the Olympiads are the exam that happen at international level. Like India sends uh, an Indian contingent to this exam. For example, uh, uh, India would send a team for International Physics Olympiad that would comprise of about five students. Similarly, India would uh, send a team for Chemistry Olympiad that would again comprise of about four or five students, something like this. So generally the contingent, the Indian contingent in every subject is about four to five students. That varies from subject to subject. Okay. And the selection of this contingent begins from this. So this is the stage one. Now, are these the same Olympiads that the students write during their grade three, grade four, grade five, grade six, grade seven? No, guys, uh, those Olympiads are different. Those are the Olympiads that are conducted by private entities. But these exams, the one that I'm talking here about, these are the exams that are conducted by government entities. All right. So those are different. Okay. Now, this is the first stage. All right. That is fine. If a student clears the first stage, all right, uh, around 300 students, generally, generally approximately 300 students, they are selected uh, from this stage. And again, 300 is a tentative count. I'm not saying that that's a strict number. Sometimes it goes to 330, sometimes it goes to 340. That depends on the cutoff. The cutoff goes state-wise. Different states have different cutoffs. All right. And there are certain rules. So again, uh, uh, understanding the rules of qualification is again a uh, time taking process. So I'm not uh, concerning with that right now. I'm just telling you that approximately 300 students will qualify this stage. And then comes the stage two. Okay. Then comes the stage two of the examination, which in, if I talk about physics, it is called INPHO. INPHO. This is called Indian National Physics Olympiad. INPHO. This is stage two. All right. Stage two, around 30 students. Uh, they clear the stage two and then they are called for a camp. They are called for a camp in Mumbai. That is the stage three that is called the OCSC camp, OCSC, Orientation Come Selection Camp. And from this camp, the Indian contingent is selected, which comprises of, of about five students. All right. And this 
uh, varies subject to subject. It varies from different uh, subject to subject. Okay. So again, let me not go into this detail. The idea is that about four to five students, maybe six students, they get selected <coughs> depending upon the subject. So these are the stages of the Olympiad. Okay. Now, if I talk about the relevance, like uh, uh, what is the syllabus that we need to be uh, aware of to participate in these examinations and how relevant are they for JE? So, of course, if I look at these choices, as far as JE is concerned, we should talk about only these two. All right. Uh, of course, there may be a question that may be coming to your mind that what about the Maths Olympiad? We have heard about the Maths Olympiad. Why, I, uh, why am I not talking about Maths Olympiad here? The reason for that is the structure of Math Olympiad is slightly different from the structure that I have given here because Maths Olympiad is conducted by a different entity, which is again a government entity, but it is conducted by a different entity. Its structure is different. Not only that, its syllabus is also largely different from what you prepare for IIT JE advanced examination. The, the like there is only, you know, about 10 to 15 percent of overlap in the syllabus. So when a student chooses to prepare for Maths Olympiad, that is altogether a different path, uh, which is quite different from the preparation of JE because the student has to devote a lot of time for mathematics. And therefore, generally students who opt for Mathematics Olympiad, they then try to make their career in that direction by joining colleges, which are mathematics specific, like which are dedicatedly, uh, uh, you know, mathematics colleges like colleges like ISI, Indian Statistical Institute or colleges like CMI, Chennai, Chennai Mathematical Institute. So these are the colleges which are specifically meant to cater to mathematics as a subject. And these are very good colleges. All right. So students who opt for that direction, they have already probably made their mind that they are not going to write, uh, you know, J advance anyways. So people who are trying to write J advance for them, physics and chemistry Olympiad becomes the relevant exams. How relevant is the question that we are going to address right now. All right. So I've given you a broad idea about the structure of the exam. Now, let me talk about the syllabus. Okay, in different stages, what kind of syllabus is needed? Okay, so uh, let's say we are talking about stage one. Okay, and let's say we are talking about NSCP. Uh, sorry. Um, stage one and uh, uh, stage one would be NSCP. Um, I'm talking about uh, uh, in stage one, what kind of syllabus would be there? Okay. Uh, in physics and in chemistry. So let's make the table like this. There, let's this be physics, let this be chemistry. Okay, so in stage one, uh, grade 11th and grade 12th topics come. Okay, here also grade 11th and grade 12th topic comes. Okay, so as, a, as far as stage one is concerned, if we are preparing for physics, Olymp uh, NSEP or NSEC, then the preparation is very much aligned with JE advanced preparation because JE advanced also asks question from the syllabus that we study in grade 11th and grade 12th. Okay. Um, also the level of the exam, the level of NSEP or NSEC, it matches with the kind of question, the level of question that you get in the advanced examination. Not only that, there is another point to keep in mind that all those students of grade 10, 11 and 12, they all can write these exams the stage one, but uh, the cutoff is same. Like it's not that the grade 10 students will have a different cutoff, grade 11 students will have a different cutoff and grade 12 students will have a different cutoff. So generally a student of grade 10 or grade 12 has a better chance of cracking these examinations. So coming back to the syllabus, stage one, the syllabus is common. So if any student is preparing for um, uh, stage one of NSEP or stage one of NSEC, then the preparation is in line with JE advanced. So there is no clash here. Preparing for NSEP or NSEC will actually enhance your JE advanced preparation. It will also give you a good idea about where you stand because, uh, you know, if you are in grade 12 and you are writing these examination, the when you get the result, you get to know that where you stand, uh, you know, um, uh, right now because you need to compete with the same bunch of student where you write the J advanced examination. So you would already be knowing your standing. So that can be a good wake up call uh, for anyone. When it comes to stage two, okay, when it comes to stage two, here we have to learn few extra chapters. Okay, we, are, uh, we have to learn and not only that, the pattern of the question also changes. Now we have to, uh, uh, you know, do subjective questions, long questions, and uh, we have to go at a deeper level in every topic. So we have to learn a few extra chapters plus depth in all chapters. 
okay that needs to be increased like uh, you can't now operate at the j advanced level you need to go beyond that level all right so you can say that preparing this this depth exploration is actually a good thing because when you operate at a higher level than j advanced level then uh, you start feeling j advanced as the easier level so that is in your favor okay but the few extra chapters that you have to learn here that you can say is a, a, a you know digression from uh, your j advanced preparation because these chapters they will not be there in j advanced paper all right now when it comes to chemistry there are many extra chapters there are many extra chapters that we you have to learn so here you have to choose uh, whether you actually want to devote time okay whether you actually want to devote time to learn these extra chapters or you want to focus on j advanced so this is something that you need to choose so i recommend that this is something that you know students who are actually very um, you know passionate about chemistry as a subject who wants to pursue a career in chemistry probably they should actually target the stage two in physics uh, stage one everyone should target in fact in chemistry also everyone should target stage one uh, when it comes to stage two people who are targeting stage two of physics they will still be helping uh, themselves in their j advanced preparation but for chemistry i think that would be a good amount of extra time that you would be devoting apart from your j advanced preparation so and beyond that i think beyond this is whatever you have prepared here that helps you in the ocsc camp that helps you in the uh, uh, stage three uh, of course when you go get, get selected in stage three or when you participate in stage three then a lot of time you have to devote because you will be going in an offline camp you will be staying in mumbai so all that period where you will be there the your j preparation would be hampered so that is something that so i, I think we can leave this uh, uh, discussion to a later stage because this discussion will have to be done with such a small bunch of people that it can be done uh, you know on a personal basis also instead of addressing it in a youtube session where the audience could be large okay so i hope i've given you a, a good idea about uh, what is the relevance of nse examination vis a vis the je advanced examination so uh, to summarize what i've been trying to say uh, is does a, any student who is currently in grade 12 should he write these examination uh, the nsep examination definitely most certainly i think the date for form filling is already gone so if you have already filled the form you will be writing if you have not filled the form at least you will not be right no, you will not be able to write like if you are a grade 11 student then maybe you can keep in uh, mind that when you get, come to grade 12 you don't miss out on, on the on filling the form of this exam okay so the grade 12 students who have actually filled the form should they write yes guys you should they dedicatedly prepare for this examination i would say that no separate preparation is needed whatever you are doing for your j advanced preparation you continue with that all right you continue with that just check out the pattern of paper that comes in this examination the the scheme of examination how what is the duration of the examination it's a two hour examination how many questions come all right and what kind of questions come so maybe looking at some pyqs will help you maybe writing few mock tests will help you to prepare so uh, again summarizing do i need to dedicate some time for these exams no no don't dedicate separate time continue what you are doing for your j advanced preparation plus write some uh, mock test for these and uh, write some uh, you know check out the pyqs that should be enough that go that gives you a good idea of what you can expect this examination all right so i hope i was able to explain this part if there are any queries please put it in the comment section and i will read those comments and i will address those queries now comes that suppose i want to do that okay sir i want to you know write some mock test so can vidantu help me in that so certainly guys i just tell you quickly that we actually have made a test series for nsep 2024 the test series for nsec all right we are contemplating uh, we'll probably put it out uh, very soon right now we have prepared a test series for nsep and this test series contains 15 full syllabus tests that you can write anytime you heard it right you can write it anytime the moment you join this test series you can start writing the test all right all the tests are shared in one go so that you don't have to wait we, we understand that different students may get different uh, slots you know in in um, uh, may get time in different slots and therefore uh, they should have the liberty to write the mock test whenever they wish so we have uh, provided all the 15 tests at one go you can write uh, whenever you want now uh, the price for this test series is 3000 that is 2999 but you can buy this test series for 1500 i will tell you how to do that okay so these are the 15 tests that we have scheduled these are unscheduled which basically means you can write them uh, you know the moment you join the test series you can start writing the test how to join so for that i'll show you you are watching this session go in the description of this session let's 
let me take you there let me show you how it is done okay uh, how you can buy this test series so um, yeah so this is the session that i'm taking right now okay let me put a like also and uh, uh, in the description of this there is a link test series link you click on this and it will take you to a page here all right and uh, here you can come down uh, this mv city pop mv set pop up will come you can uh, uh, remove it and then here it is here you can click on buy full course the coupon code which will give you a discount of about 50% is already applied and uh, the price that you are getting here would be around 1499 okay then you make the payment whichever way you want upi credit card whatever we are choosing once you make the payment then you will be able to see like this like you would be logged on for example i have logged in a student here by the name of neha so her account is visible right now to us so you will logged in here that you will be logged in here then you come to this my content in my content you will see tests all right i hope the fonts are pretty visible so you will see test you click on the tests and when you click on the test uh, live and upcoming uh, okay live upcoming attempted miss all will be seen here and you see here it is written nscp full test syllabus 14 all right then nscp full set syllabus 15 so the test right now the you will you probably you can find the numbers to be jumbled don't worry about them there are all 15 tests for example 13 12 is there then 11 is there 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 so all, all, all tests are there you can click on attempt now you can start writing any of the tests all right and uh, the date here says it ends on 2nd november but that's not true guys uh, our tech team is getting this fixed all right this test series will continue way beyond uh, the nscp examination all right so this is how you can participate you can get uh, uh, access to some tests and you can see whether how you are scoring in nscp and how do you compare with other students who would be writing the exam all right students on that note i will end today's session i hope i was able to give you some clarity regarding uh, the role of nscp in je advanced preparation and if you want to get some help from vadantu here it is here it is how you can get the help